731 new on daybreak a local man dealing with a rare disease is also sharing his decision to switch careers to help others. William Moore became a nurse during the pandemic. News 8's Lake McGee is live outside of Peyton Manning Children's Hospital with his personal story. Hey, good morning. Yeah, so it is a truly inspiring story. Like we said, his name is William Moore. He is a nurse here at the pediatric ICU at Peyton Manning Children's Hospital, and he has always had a passion for helping kids. Now, what most people don't know is that he's fighting an invisible battle. Every morning, William walks into the nurse's station. He writes his name on the board to let the kiddos know he'll be treating them today. All while he's dealing with severe hemophilia A, it causes him to bleed internally. We bleed into our joints and muscles. An active outdoorsman, William lives a normal life, but has had close calls. A few years ago, I was in Arizona and hiking, and I was probably four miles away from the car out in the middle of these huge hills and spontaneously bled into my ankle. It becomes this game of I see this big rock up here, I can rest on that rock, take five, ten minutes rest, and then rinse and repeat. And there is this massive mental toll during that period. It's, uh, it's a little demoralizing. Bunny pushed on, and he takes that to work with him every day. It's great getting to take care of kids. It's, it really provides a, a sense of fulfillment. What would you say has been some of the hardest struggles with this? Well, that's a great question. A question William says is getting easier to answer. In recent years, the FDA approved a medication known as Hemlibra that changed the way those suffering with hemophilia live. It's been life changing. He's taking the medication. He says this has helped him continue to help others and make a difference in the lives of those in the pediatric ICU. Now I asked William where he hopes to be in five years. He says he still wants to be in the healthcare field, but he specifically wants to help children who are dealing with the same issue that he is, hemophilia A. I'm Lakin McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. All right, Lakin, thank you. Carmel's Director of Diversity and Equity tells IT Mate that his firing is over discrimination. Dr. Timothy Knight started in January and was fired last week. Knight says he was fired for insubordination and had no warning of it. He thinks it happened because his, of his desire to bring more diverse voices in the workplace. What we do know in homogenized groups, uh, people tend to act in ways that give little consideration for people outside of their group. Knight says he has reached out to the Indiana Civil Rights Commission in the hopes that it will investigate the matter. IT Mate reached out to Carmel's mayor, Jim Brainerd. A spokesperson for his office says it's policy not to discuss individual personnel issues, but that the city strives to be fair in all its employee decisions and hire the best person for each position. Regardless of race, Dr. Knight's supervisor chose to terminate Dr. Knight. A priest in Carmel is suspended from public ministry. The Diocese of Lafayette says Father James DiOrio has been accused of inappropriate conduct with a minor. He was last serving at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. According to the diocese, an investigation is underway following reports to Indiana Child Protective Services. Anyone with information on misconduct by DiOrio is asked to call CPS or the Diocese of Lafayette. And a tragic accident involving a train and a grain truck led to a man's death in Centerville. Police say 61-year-old Daryl King was filling a tractor trailer with grain. Authorities say the noise of that grain likely kept King from noticing that there was a train approaching. The train hit the truck, which knocked King down. Police say the grain truck then overflowed, burying King and killing him. It is 7.35. Keeping the lights on a little longer next on Daybreak, how much time families in Indianapolis will now get to pay the bills and where help's available. Seeing the signs, why economists say a recession may be on the horizon. You're watching Wish TV, Indiana's only statewide TV news network.